minds but not in their bodies and they've separated their bodies from who they are as a human being hmm. and so they don't connect with their bodies and this has been a real big problem with people high stress individuals uh... yeah they're, they're they're running corporations they're uh, CEOs and they're doing a thousand things on a day and they're really they really put their bodies under stress mm -hmm. sometimes when they do that the homeopathics don't work mm -hmm. you have to move to the herbal medicines and the herbal complexes and different kinds of herbal medicines which I don't want to go into right now but there there are many different ways to get the re same result without uh, using I like to use a feather instead mm -hmm. of a hammer so I start with the feathers <laughs> and if the feathers work that's fine mm -hmm. and if they don't I get a bigger hammer <laughs> so each time we, we move up if yeah. we have to and a CEO is a high powered job I, I see executives stress out they lose their hair they lose their um, composure they lose their balance they, they have a lot of difficulties dealing with the pressure Mm -hmm. And so I attempt to help them, even though there is this um, tendency to continue on getting hammered with the stress mm -hmm. while doing the things I ask them to do to maintain their calm and balance. Mm -hmm. Well, of course, because I, I can't afford to, right. to visit my body. I can't afford to give it credence. Uh, because I'm, can't you see how busy I am? Yes. Mm -hmm. So this is a big problem, and especially today. Uh, and the people want answers, but they don't want to know too much. They they want to know, can you help me continue on doing what I'm doing? I'm destroying my health. I don't want to do that. But at the same time, I want answers so that I can live in the in the lifestyle that I've grown accustomed to mm -hmm. and still continue to function at a high level. And that's what they want and that's what I help them with okay. if they have to. Okay. Uh, however, you're, you're in also informing them uh, of, yes. of this disconnect. Yeah, we, we work on that. But that doesn't mean that this comes quickly. Mm -hmm. um, people who are in this kind of position usually are slow to awaken to it but it does happen and it happens over months not over days and, and so as you're talking about this the whole human the entire human our, our psychological self our spiritual self our emotional self we can't really separate this can we no in fact the first real organized medicine the Siddhas that came before Ayurvedic medicine more than 10, 12,000 years ago. And even today, with all the changes that happened over the last 12, 10, 12,000 years, these things are still effective. They're still safe. They're still bringing cure to people. Hmm. So, so it, this wasn't, when you talk about um, a medicine, we talk about a modern medicine brainwash service that we've got for 200 years, and we think that is the ultimate. Where there's medicines that go back 12,000 years, organized medicines, even before Ayurvedic, mm -hmm. which came before Chinese medicine. So you, you have these. They're, they are available. They are available to research. They are available to use they are available from practitioners who work with these medicines mm. so I try to work and take the medicines from the different strata of learning that are effective you know we go through life and, and what we use what we use what works and the rest we throw out a person could tell us something and if we we test it and we see that it doesn't work. We don't usually keep using it mm -hmm. unless we're not too bright. But it, if it works, then we'll use it again. So 
So in doing this, you have medicines from the different strata of the timeline that we have lived on Earth. Some are very effective. Some are very different from others. Something, sometimes the diagnostics are similar. Sometimes the diagnostics are totally wrong. But, you know, there's everything to learn from every medicine. Yeah. Even conventional medicine that we use today and we call all other medicines alternative, which I think is a misnomer. Mm -hmm. but, but, but these medicines, even in conventional medicines, you have quality medicines. Mm -hmm. You may have to look deeply, but you can find them. Mm -hmm. There are quality medicines. Wow. So the baby is not quite out with the bathwater, and the conventional is kind of turning it around. So the natural medicines would be the conventional medicines. I think. Okay. I think that's, that's the way you'd have to look at it. I think the new medicine is the alternative. Mm -hmm. The old medicine is the conventional medicine, the way that people practice medicine for thousands of years, not a couple hundred years. Hell, you know, even physicians didn't start washing their hands until 200 years ago. Mm -hmm. They would go from surgery to surgery killing their patients. <laughs> yeah, I right? can I could see that, yes. So... So, and then all of a sudden, someone says, you know, you really ought to wash your hands. And then he was crucified for it. And then years later, they found out, oh, yeah, that really, that really helps. <laughs> you know, wash our hands will save more patients. Okay. So, so what else? What else is standing in our way from claiming our health? Okay. So, unresolved metabolic problems. Um, this is one of the big things that I, I have found and that, it's the biochemical makeup of the body that we don't realize where it, where we are and where it's coming from and the difficulties. One of the big difficulties I find is steroids. And, and people taking steroids for long times, periods, really messes them up biochemically. But even uh, things like lead, mercury, toxic um, fumes, toxic poisons, um, and in only certain cases does it really matter because it used to matter 20 years ago, you know, if we found out that there was something toxic in the air, water, or on the land, people would run to clean it up. Mm -hmm. Now, it seems like we've gone backwards in time where people just don't care as much anymore it's like oh we have over 300 poisons in our body when we're born now with the children the infants and they're and they're discovering more every day hmm. we have plastics we have metals we have all kinds of different problems that cause birth defects that cause problems well, i'm not even talking about vaccines i don't even want to get into that subject mm-hmm you know, mega corporations, they're selling their wares, and you don't know what's in them. Mm -hmm. and, and, we're, and we're buying them. And, and Yeah, we're buying them or forced to use them. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, uh, GMOs, or uh, genetically modified organisms. Right. Um, I, I would not de desire to chew on a genetic modified organism. However, I don't know if I am. Yes, and the problem is, is that like uh, products like corn, most 90% or more of corn is the GMO, mm -hmm. and you don't know it because they hide the ingredients now. So not only do you not know, even if you can read the label, they change the names to protect their products, not mm -hmm. the people, but their products. So we have to be very careful how we eat, mm -hmm. how we drink, but we breathe, mm -hmm. and there's little that we can do other than making sure that we protect our bodies. So, yeah, so to protect your bodies, you need as much antioxidants as you could take. You need to search the Internet, find the best for you within your income, mm -hmm. for your family, to protect them, to protect the cell. 
because what you want to do is protect the cell. One of the, one of the things that happens with the body is that the body recognizes um, toxins sometimes as what's supposed to be there just to hook up into the cell. The cell has a place for calcium, magnesium, but it also has a place that it'll put in place of that, lead, mercury, whatever metal will fit. And then the person will have a problem hmm. because they'll intake this metal, this chemical, uh, and and the body will think that that's what it's supposed to be and that's where it's supposed to be. Uh, they'll get sick and they won't know why. So detoxing is really important, continuing to detox the body all the time, no matter if you think you're clean. You don't do one detox and you think we're finished. You have to do a continual detox. Mm -hmm. We live in a toxic world. Mm -hmm. It's not the way it used to be. So if we want to take back our health, we have to keep ourselves clean. And we have to understand that we're exposed to more chemicals, more toxins than we ever have mm -hmm. in, in the world. And, and we have to continue to keep ourselves clean. That means we need things like wheatgrass, barley grass. We need spirulina. We need things that will cleanse the body of those negative additives that come in our food, in our water, on our land, wherever they're coming from. And so we're looking for a balance as well. Yeah. And, and, and you know, that's one of the things I attempt to tell people is that, is that a lot of these executives, especially high powered executives, you know, they have to eat on the run. And sometimes they have to eat. And sometimes the foods they eat are not good. Sometimes the, the foods they eat are trash. But what are you going to eat? What are you going to do? So sometimes you have to eat what's available to you. But you can't not continue to carry a lunch all the time. You cannot con have what you drink bottled all the time. What you have to do is use what's available. And that's what you need to do. Mm -hmm. and, and you have to give yourself permission to create a balance so that even if you do digest something that you know is not good for you, that you can contain it by taking care of your health all the other times. Mm -hmm. Dr. Ariel, if my listeners are listening to you right now and said, you know what, doggone it, I have a very big disconnect in my family or in my in myself or I have health problems that I've been trying to figure out for years. And, you know, I, I would like to give uh, Dr. Ariel a shot at this. How do they get a hold of you? Well, first I suggest they go to the website. Okay. It's www.drariel, Schultz, S-C-H-U-L-T-Z. Dot com. Okay. And they can get information on uh, setting up an appointment with me and take a look at what we can do. My specialty is be having people connect, but also I work with a lot of cancer patients. I work with eye diseases, and I work with mostly internal medicines. Wow. How nice. And, you know, I, I would just like to recognize you, um, Dr. Ariel, for doing this work and for embracing this gift uh, that you have and for make, making it available uh, for, for the people, for, for anyone who, who is reaching out for you. And uh, I just want to acknowledge you. Thank you for this. You're very welcome. I want to thank you for giving me the opportunity to talk on the radio about this it it really makes me feel good that people be are exposed to you know what we're talking about what we're dealing with and getting them to look at the bigger picture of who they are as human beings and who they are as far as their own health and will you join us again in the future well i'd love to okay yeah okay invite we, me. 
All right, we'll do that. <laughs> we'll do that.